I want to congratulate the football team. I think what Kevin Wilson and his family and all the coaches and their families have persevered through, through so much over these years. And I'm really, really happy for them. And I'm happy for the players, obviously. I'm happy for the seniors, the juniors, everybody that's done it. I mean, seeing some record-setting performances and things of that nature. But I know how hard that group works. And uh, you don't have to be across the parking lot to have a feel for what they put into it and uh, the, the level of, of, of energy and, and hard work and sacrifice they put into it. So really happy that they finished the season the way that they did and they're going to get to continue to play and that all the Indiana fans are going to get a chance to, to, to participate in that. Uh, but again, uh, Kevin, Angie, his entire family and his coaches and their families uh, and even the coaches that were here before that helped lay the, the groundwork uh, for this, like the Mallory's. I think it's, it's really, really special that they're going to get those opportunities. Uh, as far as us, we're excited to play uh, tomorrow night. The team got back Friday night, and we practiced Friday night. We practiced yesterday. We practiced uh, today, obviously. And um, much of it, it, there's been film. There's been uh, – a lot of, I don't want to call it cleanup, because in the games, when you really go back and look at it, it was so uh, uncharacteristic of the way we've practiced, and it was certainly uncharacteristic of the way we had played against Creighton and even Austin P, but especially Creighton, and we just made too many careless mistakes, and so the biggest things we've got to do is we've got to really, we've got to play more fundamentally sound, and that, that uh, uh, huge part of our turnover problems. And, and then we've got to make the game. It's, it's, it's real, it's easy, and I guess it's, uh, it, it's, it's kind of, uh, when you look at the ages, you can say, well, it's a veteran group. There's not very veteran group on the front line. And I think it's important that everybody understand that. We, we don't have that front line. Um, losing Emmett Holt hurt us when it did. And, and that gave us a veteran up front uh, that, that knew what we were doing with a level of toughness. So we've got to grow into that right now. And, and we've got to make the game I don't want to say it's simpler uh, for our freshmen and, and even for Max a little bit, but especially for Thomas, but we've got to make it so that we can grow into it. We're asking them to do an awful lot in the ball screen that they haven't had to do before. And so, but at the same time, we've got to do a much better job of, of defending the screen with the guards because uh, that was one of our weaker points defensively and that uh, was our ball screen defense, obviously. So there's some things we can do scheme-wise. There's some things we've got to do fundamental-wise to continue to get better at it. And then we just got to basically really play a lot of these screens the way we practice them and, and uh, with the level of technique and detail that we've got to have. So, again, we're excited to play. Uh, Elkhorn, they'll be coming in off uh, some road games. And we're looking for a good crowd, great crowd, looking for an energetic crowd. And we expect to play with a lot of energy tomorrow night. No, I don't use that word. I, I don't use that word humbled. I don't. I don't. I'm with them every day. If if there was any, uh, if there was any humbling that needed to have happened before you lose games, we would have got it corrected. That's not the group we have. Okay, that's, that's not the group we have at all. So, what really what you want to do is you want to continue to, to you want to win and improve, and we won uh, before we went out, and then we didn't really improve when we were out there the way that we needed to. And, and um, we didn't take care of some of the basic things that, that happened fundamentally. And um, I've got to do even more of helping them defensively, uh, scheme-wise, so that we don't put guys in situations that they're not really ready for yet because they haven't played enough college games. And um, um, we're, we're, we're outside of Colin Hartman, uh, who's playing undersized, we're with a brand new front line. And I'm not sure how many of everybody's picking up on that, but that actually is a fact, you know, with the exception that Max BFL played at Michigan, played in an entirely different scheme, different responsibilities, and, and was really last year part of, a, of three guys. And so it's not like he's got oodles of experience to fall back on in game experience. We've got more than anybody else. But we've just got to learn how to, we've got to, learn how to deal with that, and, and we will. Forcing stuff that wasn't there, maybe being a little bit too aggressive. I know you've talked about rather maybe you'd rather have a guy that's a little too aggressive than not aggressive enough. But did you feel like as you sort of deep dived into film that, that a lot of those turnovers were unforced mistakes and, and maybe mistakes that 
can be cleaned up. Sure, absolutely. I didn't think we made as many out of speed as I would have thought after until going back into the film. Some were out of speed, but but it was more, it was more just um, lack of vision. Um, it, there were there were numerous ones, but it wasn't as much because we were playing fast, and it wasn't because we were playing ten of it. It was a little bit because we were playing reckless. So go ahead, Jeremy. Oh, it's it's all. I mean, Bob Knight say mental is physical is four is to one. He's the one that gets credit for saying it. Is he the one that coined it? We've used that a couple of times the last couple of days. Well, even out in Maui, there's no question that it's that. But it's really, it's it's just um, it, it's it's they've got to continue to get used to playing with each other. Okay, it's real easy to say, well, you know, we're a few games in. I mean, we're playing with a totally different inside presence. You know, with Thomas, and at the same time with Max. And uh, now it's going to be really, really important that OG can step up and help us because we're going to be without Juwan for a little bit because he sustained an injury in this third game, right? Third game. So he's going to be out for a little while. And um, um, we'll be in the rehab process with him. So OG has really got to step up and help us even more. So it's really the, the mental part is the, is the communication part and the reminder part and the echo part and, and doing it constantly. It's not just talking it's 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 the continued reminders that, that guys got to give each other in a game it's not just calling out a screen or calling out a play it's the reminders but the physical part is we've got to do a better job defending screens when it comes to the defense especially with the guards we've got to do a better job of staying low and leveling the dribbler off when it comes to the forwards we've got to do a better job of rebounding the ball okay everybody you know one through five and we've got to do a better job of, of playing without our hands and keep getting used to these rules. And because we're going to have to keep making adjustment after adjustment because of the way the game is called. And that becomes part of the communication part. So that's the mental part uh, that leads to being better physically inside of the game. Uh, Amy? Are we still some practice you're going to give them coming home now? I mean, did you scale back? Mm, well, yeah, 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 we did. But um, we got we got right uh, we got right at it after they got back on Friday, and they showered and got something to eat, and we went right to the weight room. So, yeah, we're structured. It's been a little bit earlier every day, letting them. Admit it's a tough recovery. Now, how are you guys doing? But you weren't out there as long, right? When did you get there? Uh, Friday through uh, Thursday, or excuse me, no, excuse me, Sunday through Thursday. Yeah. So I mean, it's it just it takes time. So we've got to be we've got to be aware of that. But um, um, I wouldn't say we're structuring it a lot differently, but but uh, somewhat. Somewhat to make sure that we're we're getting a clear view of some of the things, and we've had to make some changes, you know, with with how we play certain things. So that's taken some time as well. With the kind of learning curve and trajectory of the front line, how close is it to where you want to be? I mean, what's the next step for them to kind of get that experience and kind of catch up? Well, were you 18 once? Yeah. Okay. How long did it take you to figure out uh, uh, how how smart you had to be at 18 when you get to college and things like that? Six it takes time. Yeah. I mean, it's it's. I don't understand. Everybody's got a different learning curve. In all honesty. And so, to me, we're asking an awful lot of Thomas Bryant. I mean, an awful lot. Now, he's, he's, he's going to be good enough to get it, but it, it's going to take some time, especially with the defense. And, um, um, but we've got to do a better job of protecting one another. Our help defense has got to be better. Um, but they'll grow, and, and they're going to really, really need – the young guys are going to really need uh, the reminders and the guidance and the echoes from the upperclassmen. And um, – and, and that'll help us. That'll, that'll help. That'll grow over a period of time. We've worked hard at that the last few days. But I mean, what, how will it show up tomorrow night? I don't know. But we've got to get better at that. There's no doubt. How, how receptive is Troy been to kind of some of the recruitment questions? Oh, he's extremely receptive. I just got done spending some extra time with him. It's one of the reasons I was late in here. Oh, he's very coachable. He just got to, he just, um, we got to get back to Troy's strengths. That's a big thing. We've got to get back to Troy's strengths. They're all very coachable. What happens is sometimes you get in the game. Okay, and you start trying to do things that you, it's like a mirage. You think it's there, but it's really not. And, and, and then you, you get away from your fundamentals. And I thought Troy got away from his fundamentals because he's really improved in a lot of areas, and it didn't look like that in the games. But it looked like that last Thursday night, you know, so it's not like where it's not there. But he's very receptive. And um, uh, bottom line is there's certain things that we've got to all make sure we're getting. And if they're not there, we have to we have to bring somebody else off the bench to get that. But but as far as is trying to get better and level of work, um, and 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 the proper attitude of learning and and accepting 
uh, uh, the coaching, no question about it. Very good. A lot of scores. A lot of guys that can score, their forwards can really score, and they can shoot from three. Uh, they're going to want to get into a pace of the game, and they're going to want it to be their pace. And we've got to make sure that we get to our pace. But at the same time, we can't let it turn into a one-on-one -on -one isolation battle. And uh, they've got really strong forwards, and their guards are very quick. Um, and um, they'll, I think they're well coached. I think they can break the playoff at, at some point in time. The other thing that's going to be key is rebounding, especially in transition, because they'll get out and run, and their forwards know that's one of their ways they're going to get the ball. So um, a lot of different guys can make plays, a lot of different guys. And, and our forwards are going to have to do a great job, and our guards are going to have to do a great job of blocking out. Our guard rebounding was not nearly up to par over those three games in Maui. And that's got to get back to being a strength for us. Well, I think it, to me it was more fundamentals. It was more fundamentals. We're, we're very um, – the fundamentals of practice with how you come off a screen – uh, or the way you throw the ball, uh, to what hand you deliver the ball. Uh, some of that went away in the games. And, and that's the kind of stuff that we've got to get, get back. They know they didn't play like they practiced, okay? And they, and they can see that, especially when they watch the films. And that's what we needed to get back to over these last couple of days and continue to build on that. So um, we'll make some changes over a period of time. And, and um, as people grow and get better with it, but at the same time, it's just a matter of just being fundamentally sound. Two-hand pass rather than a one-hand pass. Uh, a bounce pass rather than an air pass. All right, not throwing no looks. I mean, some of the things were just, it wasn't that we tried to make too many plays for ourselves. We tried to make some plays that weren't there for others. Sometimes we tried to make plays for ourselves, But we tried to make plays for others that, that we weren't connected on when we tried to make it for the most part. But um, we've got to be better with the ball. We've got to be better delivering the ball. And uh, we've got to be more fundamental with the ball.